I'm currently in Yamaha Della and we are going to hike up a little bit to go all the way up to this building which is the Yamadella. Uh, I'm grateful that today there's like sunshine so that it's not that cold otherwise it's it's so cold but when there's like sunshine it's like very bright so yeah I need to wear my sunglasses we arrive in the entrance dang 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 Phew. so many snow shut up ah! Ah! oh gosh you know with the sunshine it's still pretty cold and we arrive in a temple I bet the god here also feels so cold during the winter that this place is very very pretty <laughs> oh but it's so windy Challenging, challenging hike because look at those like icy stairs so you have to be like super careful when walking but finally after like around 1000 stairs we're almost there Right? But... Wow! 
Look at this. So many people put stickers on the roof on, and also on the wooden stick. And also there are lots of people who also put their name tags and name cards here. Look at all these name cards. Interesting. Ooh, look at my face. It's so red and so because it's so cold. Uh, I wanna go home. I wanna go home. Oh, I don't wanna walk anymore. What I find super cool is that as once you get out of like Sendai Station and then you have this like very huge pedestrian bridge that literally links you everywhere that there are lots of like um, department stores around the station you know like Sendai is one of the uh, most populated cities in the northern part of Japan so that's why like it's full of people it's kind of huge pedestrian bridge and then you have like all those department stores and then like this this and this and with the pedestrian bridge yeah you don't need to go down you can just like walk upside you don't even need to wait for traffic lights and etc Matsushima Kaigan. I'm now in a place called Matsushima and I was actually named as three one of the three most beautiful island in Japan, I think. So I'm gonna eat one of the most famous, all-time famous food in Sendai, which is called beef ton. And look at this, even the soup, they um, contains beef inside. So beef town becomes very famous in this Sendai area, in this city, because basically the chef who brought in this kind of cuisine is from Sendai. So it becomes very famous because it's low in calorie. Yeah. So it's very um it's relatively healthy. So it becomes very famous among um Japanese uh, women. But I feel like beef don't actually taste like beef. But I take back what I just said before that beef ton is similar to beef. No, it's not. I feel like it's much more chewy and the most important thing is that it's healthier. It feels healthier when you eat it because it's much less oily and it's very chewy and even if you like eat a lot of it won't get sick of it. Wow, in this area, it looks a bit like Kyoto. Just a little bit. Wow. Hmm. There are so many temples here, but it all requires ticket. Wow, look at this! <sighs> this long street! Wow, there's this like nice and zen feelings when there are just like no crowds at all because it's Wednesday and I guess it's winter so it's like kind of like an off season here in those like very natural and kind of historical spots I feel like it's it's gonna be 
much much better and nicer when they are like this crowded. I met my friend. snows a lot during winter you mean I mean like if you have if you haven't like lived in a city that snows then snows for you might feel like a very romantic thing and you will get so excited with it but when you're actually in a place that snows a lot it's actually a torture you know for example when there's like snow but then like the temperature is like kind of high and then it's not too it starts to it starts to melt Oh, so when they start to melt, then you know you can't you can't even walk without paying attention to your feet while walking. You just have to be so careful because it's so slippery, and you might just like fall down any minute. So it's not a fun thing. I feel like at least for me, it's really not a fun thing to um, live in a place where it snows a lot. It's not easy, especially during winter. It's so windy. You know, with the sun, I thought it's gonna be warm, but no, with wind, it's actually like freezing. Look at my, look at my nose, it's red. When you're in a city that snows a lot, it's much appreciated to have this kind of like street. We have like cover above because there wouldn't be covered by snow, so uh, it's much easier to uh, it's much easier to walk because you don't have to worry about slippery um floor. Hanamaki onsen and I think the room is really nice. Look at that. The entrance and first let's look at the shower room here and also the toilet is over here and there's this washing area 
washers. And then here we have this like tatami area. And television. And then two rooms here and the desk. Look at nice. Look at this view because it's snowing very, very heavily right now. Like, it felt so cozy when you're like super warm inside, but you're like looking from the room to the outside, and then it snows a lot. So there's like this crazy gap between like super cold and super warm. The most amazing, fantastic part of this room is this view, and then look at this there's a heater here and then here's this window you can basically oh. sit at this window and just look outside the view and then you can think about your life think about everything and then just stare at the snow <sighs> so nice what I like about winter like because in the indoor area you can turn on the heater and then you open the windows so there's this like warm air mixes with cold air which is very comfortable on my way to have dinner so the dinner i'm going to have is buffet as you can see i take whatever i want i have no idea why i only take a tomato here in this bowl but anyway i love tomato and then sushi tofu what is this no idea but fish and then a very delicious looking soup and then most importantly the hot pot Ta -da! back in Tokyo and so I've spent five days in northern part of Japan and I feel like it snows a lot there during winter and it's great when you are only there for visiting but I bet you know at least for me it's not that comfortable if I'm going to live in that place because it's way too cold during winter and it's so windy so it's like freezing cold and you can't really do activities outside. You don't even want to go outside. That's the problem. So I'm pretty glad that I live in a place that is much warmer. Yeah.